people that have erectile dysfunction can be associated with high levels of prolactin. He basically did his blood work. Dr. Alonzo saw him, and in his consultation, Dr. Alonzo pointed out that he had very high levels of prolactin, right? Mm. He told him that he needed to get it checked out. He needed to go see a specialist. He recommended him to have, I think it was, was it an MRI or a CAT scan? of the An brain? MRI. He needed to have an MRI of the pituitary gland. Because when you have elevated levels of prolactin, again, why you need to make sure that you're getting your blood checked before you start any type of hormone. Having a pituitary adenoma, which is the tumor that secretes prolactin. If you have that, you can't get testosterone because that makes it even worse. If you have elevated prolactin level, then we need to do an MRI to see if you have a pituitary adenoma. But this particular patient, he had easily diagnosed pituitary tumor when I did the MRI on it. And we screened for his pituitary and we found a pituitary tumor. You know, one of the first things that you start to look at is people that have erectile dysfunction can be associated with high levels of prolactin. In fact, one of the theories is like when a guy has the refractory period after he ejaculates his penis goes back to normal is because that when you ejaculate you have a sudden uprise in your prolactin level and that's what causes you to have again the refractory period you know do you have erectile dysfunction issues when you see these levels of prolactin almost like they have like wow like how do you know i haven't said anything and it's because your your levels it's one of the things we have to always screen for is erectile dysfunction is let's take a look at your prolactin level